and yes, relief inside Jeff. How far? Yeah, along the way, and actually parts of the Poconos and Catskills right now are about to get some nasty thunderstorms. A newly issued severe thunderstorm warning. Western Pike, Western Sullivan counties last until 7:15, so take cover in that area. We'll show you radar in just a minute. The temperature right now 91, feeling more like 93 with the humidity out there. It's a south wind coming at about seven miles per hour. In the park, got up to 95, 10 degrees above normal. Didn't quite crack that record. That was 97 back in 2010. But again, Newark, you got your record high today. You get that five consecutive days, and also LaGuardia tying a record. And it won't be the longest heat wave in New York City history. That was back in 1953 at 12 days, but probably the longest since July 14th through 20th of 2013. That was a seven-day heat wave, assuming we do get up to 90-plus during the day tomorrow before more storms move in. 100 still, the century mark at Newark, 85. A little bit of a cooling sea breeze at JFK Airport after getting well into the 90s earlier there. 98 at Lakehurst, 91 at Sussex and Newburgh. Check out the radars right now. In this orange-shaded area, we're talking Western Pike, Western Sullivan County, under a severe thunderstorm warning until 7.15, so about another hour. So, and we're talking about this line here, just passing through the Scranton area. This could contain 60 mile per hour wind gusts, some small hail, definitely some dangerous cloud to ground lightning and some heavy downpours. Beyond that, it may move across the rest of Sullivan County, maybe affecting Orange and Ulster and eventually Dutchess as we head a little bit deeper into the evening. And we'll watch it for you on the future cast. You see by 8 p.m. moving into parts of Ulster, southeastern Sullivan by that point, maybe crossing over the Hudson River later on this evening. Maybe another batch trying to come in to replace that later on this evening as we head toward 11 o'clock tonight. So areas especially well north and west of New York City stand the best shot at getting a spotty thunderstorm, which could be on the strong side, into this evening. You see these temperatures overnight? They only fall down into the lower 80s, so we get no relief during the overnight hours as we head into, uh, say, 6 o'clock tomorrow morning, waking up to around 83 degrees, not exactly a refreshing start to your Monday. And with the cold front moving into this really warm and humid air mass, there's likely to be more widespread, stronger thunderstorms developing during the day tomorrow. And some of these could contain flash flooding downpours, could be some strong wind gusts, even the possibility of an isolated tornado in one or two spots as that front moves on by. Behind the front, big-time relief. 6 a.m. Tuesday, we're down to 73. How about some upper 50s well north and west of New York City? And Tuesday, we may not get out of the lower 80s for highs. In the meantime, again, before the relief comes, we're talking about those big thunderstorms, a slight risk of severe weather tomorrow afternoon, a high risk of rip currents at the beaches, so keep that in mind. Water temperatures rising well up into the 70s. Partly cloudy, warm and humid overnight tonight. Watch for a spotty storm north and west. We're down to 80. A better shot at severe thunderstorms tomorrow afternoon. 90 for a high. A severe storm early tomorrow night. And then mostly cloudy and humid. We're down to 72. So tomorrow's an AccuWeather alert. Relief at last on Tuesday, 84 near normal Wednesday. Maybe a couple of storms returning Thursday, Friday before we clear out in time for at least the first half of the weekend. We'll send it back over to you. All right, Jeff. Sounds good. Sam Ryan up next.